Step behind the camera and welcome to the iPhotography podcast. So welcome along. This is our last podcast of 2021. Um, so we've gathered everybody together and we're going to have a little bit of uh, end of year fun, aren't we, guys? So yeah. as we can see everybody on screen, but for those listening to the podcast, so that is completely and utterly useless. So I'm going to get you to do a little bit of an intro, starting from the top. Rebecca, give us a hello. Hi. And then Emily. Hello and merry festivities. <laughs> that was very <laughs> PC, wasn't it? <laughs> and then there's Nick. Hello. I've got my Christmas outfit on. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> worth watching the. If you are listening to this, it's worth watching the YouTube video. Nick Nick's gone full Father Christmas for us today. He, he like grew his beard, dyed his hair. This is it. He, he's gone full force. <laughs> and then there's also Rachel. How are you doing? Hi. Uh, yep. Good. Thank you. Bit cold. Oh, isn't it just? We were saying because we were recording. What we were doing on Monday? We we're doing a critique, weren't we, Rebecca? We were frozen. Uh, it was frozen, even like yeah. more frozen than the movie. It was crazy. So I have had my heater on in here, but I've had to turn it off for the purposes of the audio. Um, so yeah, I just yes, I'm here. I have to turn layers. my heater off because it's really noisy. <laughs> yeah, is everybody in multiple layers like me today? Are we all in hoodies and jumpers. Yes, I thought so. It's not yeah. just me. Excellent. Well, just to explain, I so say yeah, because this is our last podcast of 2021. There's still a few more weeks left in December, but we need to have a break after a little while and recoup and get some new ideas. Um, we thought we'd end up on a bit of a high and we'd have a bit of a quiz. Um, so if you've listened to our previous quizzes, they've gone down really, really well, and we wanted to do another group one together again. Um, but instead of me kind of delivering all the questions, we've split it up. So we've got effectively five rounds and everybody's chosen their own questions or themes or whatever it may be and we're just going to have a little, little bit of a fun with you won't we we will we will we, we will we shall. <laughs> that sounded very English, dramatic uh, english quiz we're going to have a little bit of a fun a <laughs> L- little bit of a fun <laughs> <laughs> You should all be jolly and enjoy yourselves. <laughs> this, this is scheduled entertainment. Um, but yes, I thought, um, you know, I thought it was just kind of good to review a little bit because um, I know obviously all of us have worked so hard for iPhotography over the, well, not even just the past year, you know, the past kind of year or two, really. Um, and we've, I think now this episode, when it goes out, will be something like episode 56 or 57 or something like that. We've done so many podcasts between us. It's crazy. And even with writing blog articles, I, I know kind of many of you guys have, have submitted blog, blog articles this year and even last year that I think we've like released about 100 new articles in the past 12 months. We've had new courses. We've got something now, like we've had like eight brand new courses. And then I think we counted around about 25 critiques we've done for iPhotography Plus. That's just this year. We've had webinars, you've all done Q&As, we've done group chats. It's been busy, hasn't it? Just a little bit. Just <laughs> quite. <laughs> and there's, there's still more to come. We've still got more. We've still got a wonderful business course that um, Rachel and Emily, you guys have uh, put together, which is absolutely stellar. And that's due to come out in 2022. So I'm dead excited about that. Ooh. There's still more to come, isn't there? Hell yeah. yes. Excellent. Excellent. Righty. So should we just crack on? Should we get started? I'm sure anybody that's listening is just desperate to get into these quiz questions and follow along. Um, so I, I completely, I haven't got any idea as to what's coming along apart from my own little round here. There may be rules, there may be themes, I don't know what's going on. Um, but is anybody want, anybody like to go first? I will. Because I have a theory, right? Because if somebody else has my question, you're gonna to have to come up with another question. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> I or thought it might be good. Someone's gonna be panically writing questions <laughs> yeah. at some point there. Um, <laughs> yeah. You'll have to keep, um, just kind of keep score yourself. We'll do it on the old honesty system. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get around to kind of counting up. So yeah, if you just kind of keep a number of where you're up to at any point. I think we said about five questions, didn't we, per round? But it doesn't matter if we're a little bit under there or over that. That's fine. Um, yeah, okay then, Emily. I'm going to let you take over for a bit and you can lead us through your quiz. Okay, so my five questions are just generic photography-based questions and I'd like to do it on uh, like a buzzer system. So everyone come up with their own lovely sound. It could be an animal, it could be electrical, whatever you like. And when you know the answer, make your sound and then you can give us an answer. Okay? Okay. Okay. Number one, 
which changeable setting on a digital camera would you not find on a film camera? Uh, I think Rachel got that one first. <laughs> I so. Correct. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, yes. Well done. Because it's fixed to your film. <laughs> I want to know what that sound was. <laughs> it's just like an alarm. It was good. <laughs> It got my attention. <laughs> okay, number two. What stripy artifact do you sometimes see on clothes or patterned areas? And what is it called? <laughs> oh, I think Rebecca maybe got that. I think Rachel was there first. That's okay, oh. you go. You go. Is it the, the zebras? Mm, <laughs> oh, does Rachel <laughs> have it? Is it go the Moira pattern? When your suits and your ties, they are all shiny, oh, lies, dear. it's some more Did you plan that question just purely to add that, that little I musical into it? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well number done, three. Rita. I know, she's going to win the mug again, isn't she? She is. I'm, I know. I'm out. I'm out. Um, Nick's going to ruin everything. <laughs> yeah, next, next time we'll have like a show. I'm just getting you all back for all these digital uh, questions. <laughs> okay, number three. What is dodging when it comes to photo editing? Waffle doodle do. I think uh, we got Nick then. Uh, dodging is when you, uh, well, it goes back to when he used to dodge and burn, uh, when you were printing, where you either lighten or darken. So uh, burning is sort of, uh, oh, which way around is it now? Ooh. Dodging an area lightens it. Oh, <laughs> wow. I was going to swoop in and steal the answer there. Fantastic. I, was, I, was, I was thinking myself in, into a dark room then and what I used to do and what happened when I did it. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. One oh, point to one. Nick. And okay. it works digitally as well, obviously. It does indeed. <laughs> what is the phenomenon called when you use a really small aperture and it negatively affects your image quality? Moo. Oh, Stephen with the moo. Oh, I'm in two minds here now already. Ooh. It's <laughs> diffraction. Woo! Yes, well done. <laughs> I was going to say diffraction or refraction. I was like, no, 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 no. Hang on. Well I done. Remember this. this is from our landscape course. This is our lovely expert Chris had taught me about for that. Indeed, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's a sweet spot with your aperture where it'll be at, at, at its sharpest. And when it's open wider or closed further down, you lose your image quality. Blew my mind. Brilliant. Well done. Okay. Final question for the Emily round. What is the K setting when we talk about white balance? Woo! Rebecca! Kelvin. Hey, well done. Very well, well done. done. So you lower your Kelvin, the warmer, the higher the number, the cooler. There One to Rebecca. And I'm going to mic drop out. Shh. <laughs> We're not just having fun. We're learning at the same time. Yeah. Every this day is, this, is a school day. This is not I've just pub so trivia. This is it. We're gonna we'll be coming out eggheads at the end of this. We'll be on TV by next week. Anyone up for the university challenge? <laughs> nope. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> Went down well. <laughs> right. Okay, Emily. Thank you very, very much for that round. Um, well, I've got one point. Anybody else got points? Did everybody get one. points? Nick got one. <laughs> Rach, oh, oh Rach, two. Yeah. All right, she is after that mug. She's going to have an entire Cheers. like shelf of mugs. I don't know if I've got many more. We decorate our whole kitchen. We'd <laughs> <laughs> have to find you some swag. We'll find something anyway. Right, oh, it was okay. Quite a diplomatic round. Everyone got a little bit. This is good. Yeah, this is yeah. good until we all get to Nick's round and nobody gets anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, with that said, do you want to go next? I can go next if you like. Yeah, come on then. I've been I've been excited to uh, to see this <laughs> round because this is one that's probably going to best translate to watching this on YouTube. If you are going to be following this yeah. on the podcast, um, there is an image or image. Yeah, there are kind of verbal clues as well, but it kind of starts off with an image, and it, it's basically uh, to identify. Uh, it's uh, I've actually got six images here and six verbal clues. Uh, and it's all about uh, women photographers because I thought it'd be nice to do something like that because to bring out a lot of the, you know, just so acknowledging all these famous women photographers that quite often get sidelined by the man. And I know that we have a lot of uh, women uh, actually on the eye photography course as well. So I think it would be uh, interest to everyone to do this. So let's get started. 
Um, Dias is a photographer who probably raised to prominence in the 70s with a series of black and white images of herself called Untitled Film Stills. Oh. Cindy He's... Sherman? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. What was the answer? I Cindy it. Sherman. Oh, no, no, I was who's, who's spent? Who's now uh, photographing herself on Instagram. She's moved on to Instagram to do a lot of her work. And she's spent her whole career basically doing selfies, I guess. So she, I kind of think of her as the inventor of the, self, of the, of the selfie. That's so cool. Um, okay, second image in the series. Whoa. It's a bit of an obscure one, I'm afraid, in terms of the imagery. Um, this photographer, uh, she started out life as a American in Paris, working as a model in the 1920s, got involved with the surrealist movement, uh, worked with Man Ray as an artist, model, and his muse, and then went on to be a photographer in her own right, photographing fashion for magazines in Paris. And then when she went back to America, she would send as a war correspondent to take photos uh, of the aftermath of the Second World War, which is probably most famous for photograph that she took of herself sitting in Hitler's bathtub. Uh, oh, it all no. sounds so familiar, yeah, all the different things, it but does. I can't put a name on it. I just keep coming back to Diane Arbus, but that's not right. No, nope, not Diane Arbus. That's way too late. But she's from the 1920s. Is it Dorothy well, Lang? No, no. She started out in the 1920s. I, like I said, probably most famous for the uh, commission to go to, to Europe after the war uh, to do, document uh, the aftermath of the war, but also very famous for her relationship with uh, the Surrealists and Man Ray. Uh, she she she's credited with having kind of pioneered solarization as well, like one of the first people. I think there's a bit of an argument: was was it Man Ray or was it her that invented solarized photos? No, I'm no. defeated. I'm afraid. No, not sure. Okay, there will be people listening that'll be like shouting the answer out, <laughs> screaming at us. I hope you, so. you tell us. Yes, yeah. you tell us how wrong we are. Go on, then. We'll need it's, an answer. Uh, Lee Miller. Lee Miller. No. Okay. Not a no. name that rings a bell, I'm afraid. Okay, this is a very iconic image of Don Lennon, and it was actually a shot of John and Oko, and it was actually taken five hours before he was assassinated and eventually made it onto the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. That's Annie Lebovitz. Yep. You're right. The only one I am, though. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of her earliest images. I think it's the one that really made her famous, isn't it? This one. Yeah, yeah. I think there's. She did like a little series on the day. You said you're right. Yeah. He, like on yeah. the literally the morning that he was killed. Yeah. Um, yeah. They did the shoot. He went out, and he, yeah. he actually very very kind of you know off tangent here. I was watching a documentary about it all uh, a while ago, but he goes out of his apartment block and he signs some autographs for some fans. And the guy that kills him later on in the in the afternoon and the evening was stood there next to him because he was a, he was thinking of doing it then, but then he just got a little bit overwhelmed, blah blah blah. So then John Lennon went out, did some recording, then came back, and then yeah, he got assassinated later that day. It's very bizarre because there is actually a photograph of him uh, signing some autographs, and I think a guy called Mark Chapman, I think yeah. that's the name of the guy that killed him, uh, is actually in the background of the photograph. Very very eerie. That brings the whole tone of the quiz right down. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's really interesting sort of backstory on it as well. Uh, I mean, that's the thing with this image. I think it, it, it sort of kicks, there's so many things that come out of this image, whether it's, you know, just the image itself and how it's been taken and how it was set up and the story of Annie Leibovitz when she met them and what they wanted to do. That Originally, it was Yoko Ono that was supposed to be taking her clothes off. He offered to do that and then John Lennon said no that you know I want to do that and John Lennon actually said uh, when he saw the first shot they're just Polaroids he saw this image and he said that was the best image he's ever seen of himself and Yoga and it completely summed up their relationship just on that first shot. Oh I didn't oh. know that that's lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely and sad. 
Lovely, yes, bittersweet, bittersweet. Should we have your next yeah. question there, Mr. Nick? One. There we go. That's pretty. It is. I'm going to need some clues. I'm away with this one. Sorry? Oh, I know who she is, but I can't remember her yeah. name. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a, she did a whole series of uh, photos of magnolias and photographed a lot of other flowers as well in this style. She was an uh, American photographer and she's probably most famous for these also for images of, of dancers, Martha Graham in particular. And she was part of Group F64, along with Edward Weston, Ansel Adams, and people like that, who were the first group of artistic photographers to actually sort of look at the idea of using the, you know, the the the, the attributes of the camera and getting everything. That's why they call it F64. They wanted everything in focus and sharp. So they they were moving away from the more sort of uh, you know, arty type of photos that came before them that were into like soft focus and, and those kind of things. They wanted photography to be seen in its own right for, you know, for its own reasons. They didn't alter anything. It was, you know, they, they always just shot it off and they were just printed as, as they came. No manipulation, no Photoshop. <laughs> oh, wouldn't do in my <laughs> world. <laughs> Live by it. I'm struggling for a name here. Have we got any initials? I'm thinking of oh, actually, yeah, sorry, I can give you initials. I should have said that before. Um, I see. Isabel, Isabella. Are you just guessing random female names? <laughs> yeah, but don't make it so obvious. <laughs> 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 no, okay, I'm going to kind of, no, I don't know. If, no, I'm not going to okay. guess her name here, I'm afraid. Anybody else? No, no I was getting confused. No, go on then, Nick. Imogen Cunningham. Ah, yes. Um, it's famous. always one of those yes things, isn't it, with, with these sort of things. You kind of think, you can't think of it at the time. I know names are a bit tricky. Um, she come out, she had a famous quote as Isabel Cunningham. I have a feeling she's the one that's attributed to saying, uh, what's my favourite photograph? The one that I'm going to take tomorrow. I think that Ooh, was Isabel. Nice quote. I think yeah. that's Isabel Cunningham. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's she was really influential. Uh, and I've always felt that her flower photos in particular had a massive influence on Robert Mapplethorpe because they're pretty much the yeah. same. So that's number four. Have we got... Uh, yeah, two more. Five. Sorry, let's try and get more. through these quicker. Okay, fashion photography now. Ooh, that's cool. She looks like a giant piece of pizza. I was I just going to say <laughs> <laughs> You'll definitely have to watch the YouTube version to see what I'm going on no. about it. <laughs> this, to, this was kind of Probably, I thought, one of the more obscure ones that I picked. Um, I thought the other ones would be easier than they were, but they obviously weren't. So this one's probably going to be really impossible. Um, <laughs> You'll need lots of clues then. <laughs> okay, so she's a fashion photographer, uh, French, uh, but worked mostly in England. Uh, she's pretty much one of the photographers that responsible for sort of creating the whole look and style of the late 60s through the 70s. Uh, she photographed uh, Twiggy and other models and was responsible for that sort of, uh, the sort of really glamorous 70s aesthetic. Uh, she did advertising shots for Bieber uh, in London. So she came out of that as, as she was a model and she started photographing her friends who were models and then got commissioned to, to, to work herself and uh, this one is is a later stuff. She was still, obviously still working later. This one was for she did a lot of really interesting work for Issey Miyake. So she was, I think, she was very groundbreaking in that her approach to photography. It wasn't necessarily the the usual sort of glamorous. You know, it started off like that, but then she moved into much more experimental work. And I think it you know it influenced a lot of photographers that came after, like Nick Knight and people like that. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're probably going to have to ask for initials on this one. Everybody's gone quite quiet. Um, SM initials. Sophie Sabrina Moon. Moon. Sabrina Moon. Sarah Moon. Sarah Moon. Oh, well, we had a combination of. <laughs> 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 we got the second. That was just guesswork, though, wasn't it? It, it, it was. Just guesswork. 
<laughs> Sorry yeah, about I, that one. I don't think we're I, gonna have points. <laughs> that was the one that I thought would probably be that was the one that I threw in as 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 a difficult one. Is I'll I'll start off with a clue. Victorian photographer. What a jawline. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's sucking his cheeks in, isn't it? Doing that model trick where they like yeah. bite the inside of their cheeks to give them that really kind of clear cut line. So what she she is from the Victorian period. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm totally defeated. I'm because defeated you can't on this. Take real photos. <laughs> a name that I know of that kind of area, era, and I'm not 100 percent sure. Is it um, someone, Margaret Cameron? Yeah. Oh well. Cool. Done. Oh, Rebecca. Yeah. Julia. Julie. Yes, Julia Margaret Cameron. Yeah. The only name that I kind of remember from my degree. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, See, she it was, was worth she thousands of, of pounds. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't charge anyone twenty nine thousand pounds to know Julia Margaret Cameron. <laughs> but it, it may win you a mug, you know. So that's twenty eight thousand nine hundred and ninety. There you go. See, you've paid off a bit already. It'll feel good. <laughs> well done, Rebecca. Well done indeed. Oh, yeah. yeah. So who managed it? I, I got one point out of that round. Anybody else grab a point? Rebecca got, oh, Rebecca got two. Oh, Rachel, oh. did you get anything there? Nope, told you I wouldn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I didn't do it on purpose, honestly. <laughs> I, I love your confidence that you weren't going to get any. And I didn't get any. <laughs> Brill, right. Um, Nick, all right. If you want to, that's yeah, you can stop staring yeah. your screen and we'll come back to everybody. Okay. Um, Rebecca, Rachel, either of you want to jump in or I can go the next round? I, I can go. go. And yep. for my yep. round, you guys might have to move around a little bit. So I'm going to set a 30 second timer for each round. Oh my God, what? Why have we gone full? Like full I'm quiz rules. Competitive. <laughs> so, right. Oh, Emily's going up with the sleeves. <laughs> will we, Rebecca, will we actually what? have to get off our chairs? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! No. Oh no! This is definitely not one for the podcast, everybody. You're gonna have to all switch over to YouTube now to watch. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be some sort of morning yoga lesson. I don't know what's going on? Okay. Staying within the room you're in, um, I want you to go and find me one useful replacement for a tripod. Go. <laughs> not a tripod, obviously. <laughs> Nick's got a chair. Rachel's chosen a mug. Stephen and Emily have got 19 seconds left. <laughs> Emily's frantically looking around the room. What have we got? What have we got? 12 seconds. Stephen, 10 seconds. Nine. Ooh, that looks quite handy, Emily. Stephen, you can't hear me without his headphones. <laughs> Amazing. That definitely does well, work. There we go. What has everybody got? You're so disqualified. It's a 30 second timer. Yeah, gee, there's literally nothing in this room and the lights are turned off. <laughs> you're, in the, you're in a studio, Stephen. You have no I, light to stand yeah. on. I know, literally, the only things I've got around me are tripods. <laughs> I wonder how much <laughs> cheap is it? I found a stack of books. <laughs> I thought that's something you can just stick a tripod camera on. Nick's got a chair. Rachel very cleverly has got, oh, you've got a mug already, Rachel, so you don't need any more. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, what is that? It holds my iPod. <laughs> oh. <laughs> iPod stand. Right. I, I don't know. I was I was away from the camera. Is it far away? Right. What's the next? Right. I don't know who won that one because I was a miles away. I, I guess yeah. Rebecca gets to choose. I'm going to give a point to Rachel because she's the quickest. Oh, oh. well oh. done. <laughs> oh, Stephen, don't forget you've got a 30 second timer. Right. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, we've got to move again. Is there another? Yeah. Oh, so next up, I want you to find something that can replace a camera strap. Go. Oh. Yeah. Rachel's got a mouse wire. <laughs> it's about family. So when I go camping. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Hey! Oh, I made it back. I just found in myself. Time, just a in lamb. Time. Did we get That's it? <laughs> They're lovely. Oh, Emily, what are they? Like carabiners? Yeah, so you can stick it inside your tent and, and hang all your stuff off it. Oh. And I thought one of those I things. I thought they were Christmas light. <laughs> totally be a camera. Could be a camera. I like it. What's Rachel got? Uh, a mouse. Oh, that, that's a clever idea. Yeah, you could do that, couldn't you as well? Are, are you now completely detached from your computer? Have you ripped it out? <laughs> I, was, I was going to do that, but I thought I'll, I'll pull some I wire out and everything will go off. <laughs> what have you got, Nick? It looks like a sock. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's the belt out of a dressing gown. 
Uh, <laughs> and all I could find Perfect. was an Ivatography lanyard. I'm gonna throw it on now. I'm gonna give that point to Nick. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Raiding his wardrobe. Uh, okay, so next up, guys, you've got to find something that will replace a light. Replace a light. Replace a light. That's not a light. <laughs> I'm always last. There is nothing in this office at all. I did think of my phone, but I didn't know if I was like too much of a cheat. So I got myself a lighter. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's for your candle then, Rach. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm doing that. Emily, she was the fastest on that one. That's my first point. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Across the whole quiz, that is your first point. Yeah. No. Oh my days. <laughs> well, I did the first round and didn't get anything for next round. So. <laughs> the last two are slightly different, so hopefully Stephen might be on the chance in this one. <laughs> as long as it's within arm's reach. <laughs> yeah. So I want you to go and get me something that would photograph well with a shallow depth of field. It's a, a candle. No, 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 you've got to it's a V24. <laughs> I think it's look Why? pretty cool with a shallow depth of field. Why do I, I have to run the third and come back and you're all done? It's like you're on the next <laughs> quiz. Oh, yeah. oh, look how fine was my little man. Uh, now, these little figures that we've been using for our tutorials of late, and they look great. We've, we've photographed them, haven't we, Emily, already? We did, yes, we did. They, 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 they were lovely. good for actual depth of field, so I think you probably are the most accurate. I just got my <laughs> tiny Danny DeVito. <laughs> you get depth of field. No, you don't with this, do you? Yeah, like... I thought you might as well, but you don't. Uh, I'm going to give a point to Rachel. I am. Being like this, and it's a dog. And then a bonus point for Danny DeVito. I got no chance in this quiz. All I've lost is calories. I haven't even got any points <laughs> for it. <laughs> oh, now, though. <sighs> Go on, then. Something that would make a good macro image. So a good close-up macro. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. None of you guys are getting up, are you? I just called back and you're all just turning around in your chairs to go and grab something <laughs> behind you. Presenting his belly. Oh, no. I thought it was... Saying that would make a good macro. <laughs> I found a little pair of keys. Oh. I don't know. Have a selection of tiny cameras. <laughs> Either that or you've just got giant hands. Maybe is this the same size? Ooh, it's tiny. <laughs> is this the same size? Ooh, no. What have you got, Nick? Maybe you should pull something out of the garden. Well, it, it looks really <laughs> weird. It does wow, look really wrong. good. It's, it, it looks like some kind of weird cabbage on a stick, but it's not. <laughs> It's a, it's a plant Mike's mum gave us, and we've always been quite, yeah, unimpressed by it. <laughs> but we keep it because it was a present from his mum. <laughs> I really, I was just not going to watch this. Can <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, can I drop it by mistake? <laughs> I'm not editing this out, Nick. She's going to find out the truth. <laughs> I'm going to give a point to Nick because uh, I feel like Mike's mum is, is going to be very upset. <laughs> he's going to need some reward out of all the punishment. Don't you graph that, Nick? It does look really cool. Oh, cool. It's, I, I don't know, it's grafted. Whatever that is on top is grafted on that. And the weird thing is that for years it just does that. It doesn't do anything. I think it grew that bit there. That's all it's grown in the last like 10 years. And then this year, mysteriously, that grew out inside of it. <laughs> it's like it's mutated. It's some kind of alien. It thing. looks like a demogorgon. <laughs> it's quite scary. <laughs> Two plants in one. I'm gonna put it back. That's fine. I'll let you go next then. So, Rachel, over to you. Okay, so a bit like Emily's, to answer, you've got to just make a funny animal noise. <laughs> and you can answer. So, number one, what does LBJ stand for in the birding world? You could just get LB if you want. Long bird. Oh, sorry. Moo. <laughs> long <Demon>? bird. <laughs> uh, is it a long bird? Oh, no. Or, um, moo. Uh, is it a long beak? <laughs> no. Oh, it's gonna be long Quack. something. <laughs> what? Little blue jay. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
No, but the L is right. Little, little. Oh, you, you, got, you, got, you got to use your animal noise again. Quack. <laughs> little, big, J. Quack. <laughs> little, little black, J. <laughs> um, a clue is that it describes birds of a particular colour that are very hard to identify because they're all similar colours. Woof. So, yep, yeah, Nick. Little brown. Yeah. J. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll give it to Nick. It's little brown jobbies. Oh, oh jobbies. right. Yeah. Okay. God, I hope there's no <laughs> Scottish people listening. They have a completely different term for jobby than, than what we may do south of the border. <laughs> I know exactly the problem with that as well, though, because having been dragged around watching birds with my dad, looking at lots of little brown jobbies, they, they just look like little brown jobbies, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to blow the tone. Does anyone happen to know what the word jobby means in Scottish? No. <laughs> it means... Uh, it means <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be why actually quite accurate because some birds get very frustrated by <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bra- it <laughs> probably originated from a scottish bird that i would have <laughs> <laughs> merry christmas everyone I love that. Just beep over your swearing. I, I may or may not cut it out. It just depends. <laughs> See how it feels. <laughs> Interesting, because there's quite a few birders on the course, aren't there? Yeah, so, there is. Uh, they yeah. may recognise that. Be interesting to know if anyone gets that one. Yeah. Okay, so well done, Nick. Uh, number two, name one of the top three countries where you can photograph gorillas in the wild. Woof. Oh, Nick. Uganda. Yes. Oh, I kept thinking Ooh. about gorillas in the mist, but I can't remember where that was done. <laughs> the no. mist, Stephen. Oh, in the mist. <laughs> <laughs> Mistelania. <laughs> Did you have a different country, Rebecca? Um, no, I was just making a noise. <laughs> <laughs> Out of interest, what were the other two countries? Um, Rwanda or the Congo. Oh, I know yes. I wouldn't have got either. Well done, Nick. Cool. So, number three. I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, so I'm really sorry, but it is currently believed that Gérald de Pranger took the first photo of an animal. What animal was it and in what year? <laughs> Rebecca? Horse. Oh, well, I thought it was a horse, but it's not. Meow. Is it, it even? a dog? Nope. Woof. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Seeing as Stephen went meow and <laughs> you can tell me as a cat, <laughs> I, I'm gonna say what and cat. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, um, now I'll give you a clue. It's a farmyard animal. Moo. Yes, yeah. Stephen. It is a moo. It's a moo. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a moo. And right. So you want the year? Uh, I'm gonna say 1868. Anybody well, else want to go for a year? 1912. <laughs> 18, 1857. Are we miles out? No. Emily, want to go for a year? She's not 18. giving any clues away, is she? Go for closest. <laughs> 18 what? 30. Oh, I can't work out who's closer out of that. It was 1842. <laughs> Hey. Maybe we'll just give Stephen the point for the move. <laughs> I need the point, so anything is greatly appreciated. I think, I think Emily was closest, wasn't she? I she think was with the year. Years old. Yeah, and yeah, Nick was probably just a little bit further out. So I was a little bit more. I desperately need points, yeah, let's I, be honest. I, I, yeah, I'm going to give point myself a well. point. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. <laughs> the maths question. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, great at these. If you've done the wildlife course, you'll know how to work this out. <laughs> <laughs> if I mount, if I mount a 400 millimeter full frame lens on a crop sensor Nikon camera, what equivalent length would I get? Uh, Rebecca. 600 mil. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. Very good. I thought with you saying Nikon, it was going to have oh, a slightly damn. different factor. Like it was like 1.7 or something like that. And I was sitting there. No. Like, oh, Is this because yeah. um, I thought none of us use Canon, so I'll not do Canon because that's the odd one out. 
Yeah, Cameron's playing six. Don't be afraid, just doing that. I've got yeah. a camera. <laughs> Cameron's playing. Yeah, we've got Nick on, but um, no, none of us use Canon, do we? Yeah. Person. Well, I, oh, you've I, got Canon, Nick. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I always, no, I always used to use Nick on all my old um, non-digital cameras and Nick on. So the first dog in space shared his name with what camera brand? But how was his name spelt? Uh, it was a duck. Oh, duck. I changed. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so, Rebecca? Laker. Yes, a Laker. Ooh. Yeah. Was it a Russian dog? A Russian, yeah. yeah. Uh, it would be L A I K A, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. Well done. Oh, well done, Smarty Pants. Well done, Rebecca. Well, <laughs> and, nice I like it. This this uh <laughs> this trophy mug may not have to move far from the office. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, right? Okay, so I will come on to our last round then. Um, no frills to this one. It's just general knowledge, uh, I'm afraid. Um, but with in terms of rulings, nothing too hard. You've just got to shout out your name. I think that makes it a little bit clearer as to who gets in there first. So I've got five questions, complete general knowledge. Let me just load them up on the screen there. Right, okay. So you brought your questions about Nikon, Rachel, and I'm going to bring out a different brand. Which camera brand makes an RF lens mount? Rebecca. Oh, no, Rebecca does not. <laughs> What's the answer? Canon. It's Canon indeed. It's the mirrorless range. Well done. You know, one point there. Right. Question two. Up until her death in 1997, who was reportedly the most photographed person in the world? Rachel. No, you weren't, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of jokes out of this. Go on, what's your answer? I don't know when she died. I was going to say Marilyn Monroe, but that's not 1997, is it? Oh, no, she died <sighs> don't a long that. time before that. I was going to say the Queen, but she's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> well done Emily's killing people Ahilia. <laughs> ironically the answer does have a connection to it Rebecca Rebecca go for it Princess Diana Princess Diana indeed oh. all right there we go okay question three. Oh, this is a maths one right I had to double check this to make sure I was right here with the answer so fingers crossed I've not got this wrong but number three if your shutter speed is 250th of a second, that's 250th, and you add a two-stop ND filter, what would your new shutter speed need to be to keep the same exposure if no other camera settings were changed? Rachel. Rachel. 60th? No, I'm afraid. Oh. I would have gone with that. One one thousand. Oh. Nope. Oh. Emily? Emily, fifth, fifth, go for it. Fifth, 50th? Nope. One twenty-fifth. 125th, well done. Um, so basically, uh, each stop is 50% reduction. So two oh, stops would be 100%, which would be double, well, half uh, yeah. from 250th, takes it down to 125th. Now everybody's really not enjoying the quiz. <laughs> 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 right, okay. Uh, history question, number four. In Oh, another year question. In what year was it generally accepted that photography began? It's generally accepted or it's debatable. Mm. <laughs> That's it. I think this question, this answer is going to be open to debate, really. But we'll see. See who gets the closest. Give us one year each. 1868. Okay. Nick, give me a year. Um, 1847. Okay. Rach? Um, 1840. 1840. And Emily? 1842. <laughs> I thought you were going to be out there. Right. Um, Rachel gets the point. It oh, is well apparently 1826. As early as that. So I don't know what, what form of oh. photography they are using to, to kind of mediate this, whatever it may be. But yes, I believe in Lee. I would have thought it would be a little bit later than that. I would have said 40s to 50s, but apparently 1826. I'll have to kind of get the source for that. It's somewhere from the internet, so, you know, it's trustworthy. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> question number five. Okay, more of a fun one. Where is the world's most photographed hotel? You can give us a country or a city. I don't know if you know it. You can give us the name of the hotel. 
the world's most photographed hotel? Rebecca. <laughs> Go for it, Rebecca. New York? Nope, I'm afraid not. Nick. Paris? Um, nope. Emily. Go on uh, now. Hong Kong? I thought you say Hogwarts. Oh <laughs> I don't yes, know if it Hogwarts. was a hotel, maybe oh. in a way, and he probably stayed there. It was like a boarding school, so in a sense. Hogwarts. Uh, I'm afraid Hong Kong and Hogwarts are just as far away as you can possibly get. Down. <laughs> so mm. it's not a country we've mentioned so far. Jamaica? Nope. Nope. We can go through all the countries as long as my America. Was. It's not in America. Canada. In where, sorry? Canada. Canada. Well really? done, Rachel. Really? Yes, it is. is. Oh, let me try and pronounce this. Chateau Frontenac Hotel in Quebec City. If you Google it, it looks very, very pretty. But apparently that's the most photographed hotel in the world. Never heard of it before. And Everything. now we are flush with knowledge. Wow, every day. <laughs> and such day. useful knowledge too. Exactly. <laughs> if you're considering going to university right now and thinking, I need to learn photography, you do not. You just need to listen to our previous 50-odd <laughs> podcast and you will have, three, you know, what, three years worth of knowledge all packed into potentially you could listen to it over maybe a long weekend. So there you go. I just saved you about £40,000 there. Um, think of the no courses commitment. you could buy with that exactly series. and then iPhotography has also got 18 amazing photography courses that will cost you substantially less than £40,000 so definitely definitely worth checking out but there we go um, oh my god I, 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 my score is horrendous right okay we're going to go around here now and end this embarrassing um, moment I've got three oh, three see. points Three points. <laughs> it was so much better being quiz master than playing. <laughs> That's what we're going to do next time. Right. Anybody can beat three. Anyone got four? Anyone got f oh, five, Rach? Okay. Well, excellent. Five. Emily, you've got five. All right. So it's yeah. down to two. Emily and Rebecca. Oh, no. I've got more than five. I've oh, you got, more, oh right. you got more than three. Oh, I no. got a tenuous two, and I think one was being very generous. <laughs> so I think I got one. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be. I did come last. <laughs> Rebecca right. and Rachel. Okay, yeah. you give us up, Nick. So you got four, Nick. Five. Five. Rebecca. I got eight. Ooh, oh, wow. crazy scoring! And Rachel. the mug has a new hole. It does. Oh, does it? And does it, Rachel? Six. six. Well done, Rebecca. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The mug has to travel about twelve inches across the Your desk. desk. <laughs> My desk. <laughs> I'm just going to shove it across. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. Did you enjoy the quiz, everybody? Yes. No. Yes. no. <laughs> you won. <laughs> you won about. <laughs> not doing any more now. You're not going to enjoy it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you are listening, if you've managed to stick with us for this long, I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching and, and listening to our antics. And uh, fingers crossed the audio comes out okay of me panting like a mad, crazy dog. Go and find something that uh, can replace a tripod. I've never had to run so fast in my life, Rebecca. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> can I make an announcement? Oh, yes, indeed. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I didn't have I this planned. Like... <laughs> no, this is totally unplanned. <laughs> I would like to say that because the gallery standard has gone up, I am going to start getting harsher. <gasps> oh. <Ooh>. <laughs> So it's a lot of threes and fours, guys. Wow. Well, normally, yeah, two star is something we try to avoid our best at, but I, it sounds like Rachel's gone kind of full dragon's den. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And she's cutthroat. So, what, 2022, we're going to see very, well, I'll say, not say, we're always honest with our critiques anyway, but certainly a little bit more stricter. Would we I, th I think I may have become a little more, bit more critical in my comments over the last few months, but not, probably not in my star ratings. Mm. Just, I tend to give nice star ratings, but then sort of make up for it in, <laughs> in what I write. <laughs> I like, maybe I shouldn't have given them five. Maybe I should have given them three, but never mind. It's because the standard's gone off. Yeah, I think I'm giving fives all the time now. 
Yeah, no, it, it's very true. And, you know, if you listen to this, so if you're catching it before the 12th of December, um, we've still got our member awards available to vote on. Um, so if you go to learn.iphotography.com forward slash member hyphen awards um you can vote there because rachel is so right we've got an amazing plethora of images we've had over twenty thousand this year's uploaded to the gallery and and i, I know what you mean i've i've been kind of you know five star in images because they are they are good but then you think um, well how does somebody progress from a five star should we add in more stars no, no. <laughs> <Hell> no. <laughs> I think we had this discussion a while ago, didn't we? Yeah. But no, it, it's it's all good to, you know, to be a little bit firmer because as people progress, you know, you, you hit a standard and then maybe there's more to achieve. So I think we've still got to give people inspiration and motivation to kind of go on to the next step. So that's only fair. Has anybody else got any other announcements that they'd like to make? <laughs> whilst we're here just general life announcements what you're getting for christmas what you put on your christmas list what you're going to do for new year's no no nope. just it? hope next year is going to be better than the last yes <laughs> i think that's the main thing <clears throat> let's look forward to a new year that yes. isn't like the last two a good year <laughs> indeed yes yeah, not just a new year but a good year well i just want to say yeah. thank you very much to to all of you for for your support and i photography and all the different ways that you have done over the past couple of years anyway not just uh, in this amazing quiz um so yeah i you know we'll see more of you and obviously anybody that's listening and watching you'll see a lot more of these guys will be doing i'm sure more live events critiques as we normally do i'm sure with the more podcasts well myself and nick we've got podcast planned for the new we year have, oh, yes we? a rather right. a lengthy one i think Jeez, <laughs> strap yourself in you're going to find some good winter warmers and get yourself a hot chocolate and me and nick are coming out with a mini series of a history of photography yeah. well so, you know what me and Steve are like we do like to talk so that's just it so th th this is certainly one yeah you're gonna sit back and just enjoy i think we all need to listen to that and take notes <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll you'll know everything. We we know about the history of photography now. We've just uh, like disseminated parts of it in this quiz. So I'm just gonna yeah. Well, I've just I just failed at the first hurdle by not knowing when <laughs> photography was invented. <laughs> we do we do need to write our notes up quite soon for this. Quiz. I, I, I did actually look it up quite recently. <laughs> I don't remember it. Well, I need to look at my trusty source. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll have to kind of collaborate on that a little bit and see what we've got out yeah. there but um, but yes there will be that there'll be more podcasts to come uh there'll be more critiques as we normally do for iPhotography Plus and a lot more live events I'm sure anyway as well there's always things that we can do um, but we'd love to hear from you as well if there's any kind of suggestions that you'd like to see from iPhotography uh, going forwards to next year then just get in touch um, but in the meantime I think we're all done guys so it's been an absolute yeah. pleasure having you all on board um, and I hope you have a lovely December a lovely new year and we'll catch you all in a couple more weeks and we'll reconvene and we'll do something fun again bye, bye. <laughs> It's like kids TV presenters. <laughs> Channel that. <laughs> Channel your best Anton Deck. <laughs> <laughs>